Hello, my name is Nicholas Santillo. And I'm Shantria Tran. And today we're going to be talking about data sets in DHIS2. So, data sets are the final part of the triangle of the three core data dimensions. Right, that's the when. Mm -hmm. And we'll look at exactly why that is. So here we have an example of a default data set or a data entry screen. Mm -hmm. And we can see a collection, uh, each one of these rows is a data element. And then we see the value on the right column is what type of data that data element has been set up to collect. Right. And we've by doing that, we've sort of chosen the org unit, mm -hmm. uh, the data set, what we've named it, and then the period, which is where the when comes in. Because these data elements are kind of, kind of floating. Um, a good point. Yeah, the data values are actually not linked to mm -hmm. the data set. The data values are connected to the data elements, which is why they're the what. Mm -hmm. The when is where the data set comes in, because when you create a data set in DHIS2, you define how frequently you're going to be entering data in there. Right. So you can choose daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly. And that's why the data set is the when part of this equation. Mm -hmm. So Nicholas, we just looked at the default form, and here is an example of a section form. Mm -hmm. And this is commonly used when you have very long data entry screens or data sets. You can create a sectional form, which either tabs, as we see, or sections, uh, and those will separate the data elements into sections mm -hmm. so yeah. that it's easier <laughs> to enter the data uh, that's related, uh, which will increase data quality, prevent errors and data entry. Right, navigation, mm -hmm. very handy. Mm -hmm. And here we finally have the custom forms. And this is for when you really want to make your data set custom to your uses. So mm -hmm. how you would do that is you actually have a WYSIWYG editor in DHIS2 where you can build the entire form from scratch. It's almost like a 1995 website. Yes. <laughs> so if you're really keen on it, Definitely have the option the to do that. And this is very useful for, as you can see here, uh, you can create a form that will re reproduce the look and feel of maybe a form you've been using for a long time mm -hmm. or that you know uh, works very well for you. So you don't have to feel constrained by DHIS2. Right. So the next couple of slides, uh, we have our usual quiz. Go ahead and uh, give it a try. All right, this has been Nicholas Santillo. And Shantari Tran. And thanks so much for watching.